and magic just happened. So it was pull the 5 out, 5 integral of u to the negative 5th du, pull the 3 out, 3 integral of e to the u du, plus, so it's 2, so if I do it like last time, 2 out front, integral of du. Okay. Integral of sine. Negative cosine. Negative cosine. So this is going to be negative 6 cosine u. And how my brain works, are you guys okay with that one or do you need me to talk? Maybe you're okay. I, I look at how do I get <coughs> derivative of cosine is negative sine. So since this is positive, I have to put the negative over here. Okay? u to the negative fifth. What do I do? You add one, so it becomes u to the negative fourth. That means we have to divide by <coughs> negative four. So it's going to be minus five over four. Okay. And I just left it as u to the negative fourth. Could you take that u to the negative fourth in the denominator and rewrite it? Yes. Um, I'm leaving my negative, though. Integral of e to the u. Stays the same, so 3 e to the u. 2 times the integral of du. Or in other words, what's the integral of 2? Two? 2 u. Plus c. Plus c. I was waiting on it. I was, I was getting ready to circle it with the idea of I'm waiting for someone to think about the plus c. Because if I'm always the one saying the plus c, like, I want you guys to be the ones saying the plus c. As I said, today's not, I mean, honestly, this is kind of stuff you'll right now. It's just doing, yep, one more problem. I told you it wasn't bad today. <clears throat> well, we still have one assignment to check, but we can be, we can be quick. We can try and be quick. I mean, that's what I want. Okay. Um, denominator just has to do with natural log of x. So remember, what this is reminding us of, the derivative ddx of natural log of x. So you remember the derivative, right? The derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. So what's that mean you need to recognize when you see 1 over x in an integral? The integral of 1 over x is natural log of x. Plus c, of course. So that's all we're throwing in on this one. I'm going to write out my pieces again. Now, on this first one, it's 4 over t. What's my constant I can pull out front of my integral? There's a constant of a 4, right? So if I pull the 4 out front, what remains in my integral? 1 over t dt. Okay. Plus 3 times the integral. What is t to the negative first? 1 over t dt plus 4 integral cosine t dt plus 3 integral sine t dt. Okay, guys. Integral of 1 over t. Natural log of t. Now, um, officially, you should be saying natural log of absolute value of t. I'll be honest. You don't always see them put the absolute value bars in. Um, officially, when they have to be in there is when you don't know anything about t. And we want to make sure that we have to, you know, we have to use a positive value. So this is 4 natural log of t. Plus, what about the next one? It was t to the negative first, but it was 1 over t. What's the integral of 1 over t? Natural log of t. So 3 natural log 
of absolute value of t. My thoughts here. Because sometimes they will have t to the negative 1, yes? If you try to do the rule and add 1, when you add 1 to negative 1, you get 0. And that right there, I know I can't go to a 0. And so that's where I have to think, oh, wait, this is the one that I have to think ln of t. Okay? And so that's where I then put it over t. Okay. Um, integral of cosine. Sine, because the derivative of sine is cosine. So this is plus 4 sine t. Integral of sine. Negative cosine. So minus 3 cosine t. And on that one, I think, okay, normally the derivative of cosine is negative sine. Since this is positive, then this is negative. And it was a plus c. Yeah, you said it. Is that what you're asking? No, Carly asked you what I said. Oh, okay. I heard your plus C, so. Okay. We got the basics here? Okay. Let's check some homework.